guys, Louis here, and uh, today I'm going to try to make the case for Platinum to be part of your portfolio. Uh, I think some of you do collect Platinum, but probably most don't. But did you know that the Platinum ratios actually scream by more than the uh, Silver ratios? So let me go through this argument really quickly. Uh, what you have here in US dollars is the price of gold. And today it is uh, $1,450, 1454 dollars and 60 cents, uh, something like that. Uh, it had recently been up uh, over 1500 as you know. And uh, as we look back historically, as high most recently as 1800 and then uh, much, much lower 15 years ago. Here is silver, just to get your benchmark here so that you will see this chart will look familiar. And here we have silver bouncing around um, $16.80, $17. Of course, with a high up to $45.50 back in 2011 and uh, historically as low as uh, about 650 15 years ago. So here is uh, the gold to silver ratio. I just want to put these uh, on the record here before we move to uh, platinum. Oh, let's look at the price of platinum over 15 years before we move to the ratio. All right, so here is platinum and uh, with a giant spike up to 21, 2200 uh, back in 2007 and a crash down to 860, 840 in 2009. Um, and when everything was spiking, um, it got up to about 1800 or so. Here we are today at uh, 912 or so. We've had a nice little move off the bottom here, but you can see how undervalued it is. And here we have something approaching a, a triple, quadruple bottom on platinum. Um, so platinum is definitely down in the doldrums. Uh, platinum is a, uh, a, a, a an alternative to gold, and some people would have said that platinum would be the superior uh, precious metal to gold if you had just gone back a few years ago. So what do the ratios show us? Okay, let's go back over to the ratios. Here is the gold to silver ratio. Uh, I'll do 15 years on this as well. Okay, and as you know, the gold to silver ratio is, uh, well, it's about 85, 86 today. Has been as low as, um, 31 when we had the spike to 50, but I would take these spikes off and just say, oh, 50, 50 or so seems to be a reasonably achievable silver to uh, gold ratio. Now let's look at platinum. Ah, here we go. Gold to platinum. Okay. Again, on a 15 year timeline, the gold uh, to platinum, how many uh, ounces of platinum it takes to buy an ounce of gold? Well, it was only around 0.52 in 2007. Today, it is up around 1.59. Okay, so you can see the spike here is really dramatic. It has had, uh, well, from 0.5 to 1.5. That is a tripling of the... Um, gold to platinum ratio. If we look at the gold to silver ratio one more time, you will see that we have had roughly from 50 to 84. That is only about a 60, 70 percent increase. So the platinum, the platinum, uh, the gold to platinum ratio is way, way more out of whack than the gold to silver ratio. Again, back to gold to platinum. All right, it takes a lot more platinum to buy an ounce of gold these days. So the question is, um, is platinum the better investment than silver? Um, so um, here we are at a, at a gold to platinum ratio of 1.67. All right, and I think that's why platinum has been bouncing, or part of the reason platinum has been bouncing so much. Um, going back to the platinum price, for 15 years. No, let, let's go in close on the platinum price over the last six months. 
All right, so here we have platinum has had a high of 989, nearly hit 1,000. Here we are again at 9, uh, 904, 896. And this platinum trade has been a pretty good trade. But uh, the question to the community is, how much of your, if you believe in silver, then wouldn't you believe in platinum as well? And I suspect that silver may be more manipulated than platinum is. Um, and perhaps there are changing consumer tastes in regard to platinum jewelry. But uh, the platinum trade has been working out pretty darn well for me. Here's a couple of trades uh, that I've done recently. All right, here's my trading history on E-Trade. My first trade uh, for platinum, uh, I'm doing this within my IRA. Um, so there's uh, no, no consideration about taxation here, if you're worried about that. I was purchasing the PPLT, which is the ETF for platinum. And this was just kind of, these are swing trades. Um, and uh, But uh, they've worked very well. So the first trade was a purchase of 100 shares at 88. And then um, about a month later, uh, we had a spike up to 92. And I sold, uh, there is a $4.35 uh, profit on that. Uh, that'd be $435 profit on that transaction. Uh, here is my next purchase. When we recently hit that low again, uh, we spiked down back to 81.67 or so. I picked up 100 shares again. And recently we had a nice spike up to 86.39. Uh, so the purchase was on um, November 12th. The sale was on November 20th. So eight days later, it had gone up uh, um, about five. Uh, about four dollars and fifty cents. There's another four hundred and fifty dollar profit on platinum. So um, swing trading platinum has uh, worked out really well. And of course, you could purchase uh, the physical as well uh, if you're looking for the long term hold, which would be preferable. But um, platinum seems to have a lot of energy down here as it bounces along the bottom. I uh, haven't been so lucky with uh, silver lately, um, so uh, that 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 trade is moving against me. But I'm still holding tight on my silver position, uh, my paper silver position. Um, but uh, platinum seems to be down in this bottom bouncing zone, and uh, you know I'm looking for another entry point. Um, and uh, I think uh, I, I think it makes a, a lot of sense to be looking at it down here as that ratio is at all time highs. Let's go back again and look at that ratio. Uh, we're going back to look at the gold to platinum ratio and 15 years. Oh, oops. Uh, well. You can't see it all, but uh, here we are. We're just rocking a super all-time high with gold being much, much more expensive than platinum um, in a, on a long-term basis. Will this move continue? Gosh, it's hard to say, but seems like uh, platinum is pretty low, and I think gold will move higher. I have no doubt about that, um, but uh, I think you really have to look at platinum here. And uh, are you a buyer of platinum? Are you buying the coins? I know sometimes the premiums, um, you, you can buy platinum close to spot, but selling it, I think, is going to be a little bit of a challenge uh, because uh, they're, they're not going to give you spot for platinum, in my, in my opinion. So uh, that's why I like the paper trading of platinum right here. But uh, what about you? Are you, uh, are you interested in platinum? Do you think this ratio is uh, telling us something? Um, again, I don't, I don't feel that platinum is manipulated like silver is. Uh, these giant sell orders that are coming in every time silver starts to move are very suspect to me. Um, although I don't, I don't think they can hold it down forever. But, uh, maybe, uh, maybe this is worth exploring. Uh, let's find out what, uh, what else is going on with platinum. Ah, so here is the story I forgot. Um, remember when uh, VW was found uh, manipulating test results on their emissions? Well, that was the point where platinum is used in uh, diesel catalytic converters. Completely forgot that. Um, and it crashed through a thousand after the German diesel ban. 
So um, platinum group metals were the hardest hit on generally weak precious metals markets Tuesday after a German court ruled that cities in Europe's largest economy and the world's fourth largest automaker have the right to ban diesel cars. The price of platinum were back in triple-digit territory on New York futures markets on Wednesday, falling 2% to a low of 983. Palladium was also down. Palladium is used in combustion uh, normal combustion engines, um, but platinum on diesels. So, um, with the uh, with the uh, turn down in the auto industry and the the significant turn down in the diesel industry, that is a big reason platinum is down here. Uh, the technology will still survive in some segments like trucks, but if you're a private car buyer, it's hard to pick diesel. Uh, let's see, what else can we find out here? Okay, so that's a negative on platinum there, but I think that news is pretty much in the market. Um, why platinum is not an obvious long, even though it looks? Uh, let's see, platinum prices have really declined, especially in comparison to gold and palladium. Prospects for platinum do not look favorable, including supply and demand. Platinum may be right for some, but most people should probably stay away. Few commodities have done as poorly in recent years as platinum with prices at multi-year lows. For instance, compare platinum to gold and palladium, its direct rival. These two precious metals tend to be grouped together with platinum and are often compared against one another. The two charts below plot the ratio between the price of platinum and the price of gold and palladium by dividing them by each other. Okay, so here's the platinum to gold at an all-time low. Here is the platinum to palladium at an even lower low. Uh, and they didn't do, uh, is this uh, platinum to gold? No. In both cases, we can see platinum has fallen in price relative to gold and palladium. In the case of gold, platinum used to be more expensive with a ratio above 1. It's now 0.61, which means a troy ounce of platinum is worth 0.61 of an ounce of gold. In the case of palladium, the divergence becomes even more extreme. The long-term chart is even more interesting. Looking at the chart below, we can see that platinum is currently close to the 780 to 820 range. Uh, this is an older chart, I believe. Uh, this article was written in February of this year. Uh, let's see, this is a level where platinum has bottomed twice before, 780 to 820, once in 2008 and a second time in 2015. In both cases, platinum bounced off this level and prices went on to a substantial rally. It now seems like a third bottom may be in and history may be about to repeat. Well, he was exactly right. We did get a bounce back up to a thousand, so we have to give this author credit for spotting the move before it happened. These charts are certain to raise attention and make platinum look attractive. With platinum now available at such low prices, someone might be tempted to say that platinum looks very cheap and rush to buy some. After all, gold and palladium in particular are up and platinum is lagging. An argument could be made that platinum should rally and catch up to its rivals. This doesn't have to be the case. The bull and bear case. While the price of platinum may seem low, it's important to keep track of how we got here in the first place. The platinum market can be described as one in flux, a market which is in transition. While the supply side has essentially stayed the same, the same cannot be said for demand. The table below shows the supply and demand equation in the platinum market over three years. Do we have some totals here? Okay, so... Uh, um, from 2016 to 2018, uh, the net demand is 6,000, 6,000, 5,600. Uh, are these tons? All right, these numbers are in thousands. So we have demand, um, net demand going from uh, 6 million two to 5 million nine to 5 million six. So steadily declining uh, demand for platinum while the supply has stayed very stable. Um, total supply, 6 million, 6 million, 6 million. So uh, um, they're still making the same amount of platinum, and I'm sure there is recycling of it as well. So um, there we have uh, platinum demand dropping. 
uh, the supply demand picture relative to platinum. Platinum is trying to move away from some old sources of demand while trying to find new sources of demand and building on some other ones. To start off, the biggest use of platinum is in the auto catalyst segment. We know that. No doubt the diesel admission scandal uh, from VW in 2015 played a part. Um, on top of that, the market for autos worldwide is very weak. Investment demand has essentially collapsed with a huge drop in platinum prices in recent years. While low prices for platinum may cause some people to look into platinum, others might get frightened at the prospect of suffering a loss on their investment. The recycling of platinum continues to increase as well, um, and there, and which means there will be less need for mining and extraction. On the positive side, industrial demand for platinum is seeing growth. However, this has not been enough to offset decline in the auto catalyst and investment markets. As a result, the platinum market has moved from one that had a deficit into one that has to deal with a surplus of platinum. The World Platinum Investment Council suggests that more of the same in 2019. Although in 2019, guys, it's been going up. It forecast calls for a surplus of 455,000 ounces. Uh, there we go. Platinum is shackled by a strong dollar and slow growth isn't helping. Uh, so platinum moves um, contrary to the dollar as other precious metals. Um, and if the economy is slowing, then that also um, would um, depress the industrial demands. Growth falls. What would make platinum prices go up? Platinum needs a catalyst, haha, <laughs> and there may be two out there. The supply of platinum is highly concentrated in South Africa, responsible for over two-thirds of global production. If a major strike were to occur, production could be disrupted and supplies of platinum could be significantly less than expected. This has happened before, which means it can always happen again. Another wild card to take into consideration is the replacement of palladium in gasoline autocatalytic by platinum. The, the more the price of palladium goes up, the more incentive there is to give platinum a chance as a substitute. This is not likely in the short term because it would be require a substantial jump in the price of palladium to increase the price gap with platinum even more than it is right now. It would also require time to test and work everything out. With platinum seemingly at such low prices, does it make sense to go long? In my opinion, the question that should be asked is not whether platinum will rise in price, it's likely to do so eventually at some point. The question is when. Platinum is probably most likely to stay in a volatile in the near-term range, going up and down, essentially stay stuck within a range that it is right now. Here's my thought. Um, gold, silver, and platinum, right? Okay, gold belongs in everyone's portfolio. It is the long-term performer. And um, it will make, if you're worried about the monetary system collapsing, I think gold is number one. Silver moves, um, silver moves with gold and around gold, but more erratically, and has had long times of price suppression, and has uh, spikes, uh, dramatic spikes, uh, far exceeding gold spikes. So uh, silver is a longer term hold, and is, in my opinion, also undervalued compared to gold. And uh, platinum clearly uh, is in a bear market right now, but trying to bust back out despite its uh, industrial limitations. So um, the thing is that, you know, if the monetary system starts to collapse and if uh, inflation comes back, then we're, we're going to see platinum catch a bid uh, just like silver will catch a bid. Uh, gold first, silver second, probably platinum third. But um, people will run to investments like this, uh, just like they did to silver when they start, saw gold starting to take off. We saw silver go from 15 to 20, lickety split. Well, I think you could see a move in platinum from 1,000 to uh, you know 1,300, lickety split as well, um, once those other opportunities are kind of tapped out. So... Um, I like it here. I like trading the range here down at the bottom. I think there is protection um, that it's back at a low um, or it's a, a little bit above its low, but you know, I just sold uh, my position. I'm looking for another pullback. I think that's a tradable range and I think it also is an investable metal long term. I mean, you have to consider somewhere like uh, India, for example, uh, you know, big gold um, investors 
purchasers. The government clamped down on uh, gold by putting excessive taxes on it. And what did they do? They started moving to silver. And I imagine the same thing will happen with silver eventually. They'll start to tax silver. Uh, but, you know, if they don't tax platinum, people will move to platinum. These are hedges against fiat currency, first and foremost. And then also, uh, in, you know, in some cases, industrial metals as well. The auto industry could convert uh, to platinum in their catalytic, catalytic converter process as palladium, um, which I believe comes out of Russia. And I believe there's been a bit of price manipulation and supply manipulation in palladium. <clears throat> so uh, if Russia gets too greedy with palladium, they'll drive uh, the auto industry back into platinum. So uh, there you have it, uh, the pros and the cons. You've had my thoughts. Please add your thoughts. Are you a long-term investor in platinum? Are you a short-term swing trader in platinum? Um, do you think it has value as a precious metal and not just an industrial metal? Um, or the wild card might also be changing uh, consumer preferences. And, uh, you know, as gold uh, falls out of favor in jewelry, um, uh, you know, uh, will, uh, will silver, will, um, platinum fall out of favor in jewelry as well? Um, I'd love to find, uh, the jewelry demand for platinum if we had it here. Let's see if there is. Oh, here we are. Uh, jewelry demand. Well, uh, this is reassuring. Um, so, um, and also interesting, the three year demand for jewelry, uh, went point to, uh, 2.4 million uh, ounces to 2.4 to 2.363. So jewelry demand for platinum is pretty steady. This is also inter in in interesting because um, industrial demand has been increasing from 1.8 million to 2.0 million to 2.3 million. So if diesel um, uh, use is down, diesel purchasing is down for catalytic converters, some other part of uh, industrial platinum use is increasing. Oh, and here's the wild card investment. Well, I think this screams by personally. These three factors here, jewelry demand, steady, industrial demand, increasing, investment demand decreasing. Everybody just jumped out of this sinking ship. So um, I think that there's a silver lining right here on these three metrics. What do you think? Love to hear your opinions, guys. And uh, where do you buy your platinum? What do you buy? And where do you sell it? And uh, do you get a decent price when you sell it? All these things would be really interesting to, uh, to the people uh, watching this video. Thank you so much. Louie out.